In the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, we see that Joel and Clementine have their memory of each other erased. So they apparently have no conscious memory left of one another's relationship or each other at all. That being said, they still seem to have this connection and this draw to each other that is unidentifiable to themselves. They still seem to love each other. Which calls to question John Locke's theory on the psychological continuity of consciousness through connected memory. And this being what maintains a person's identity. Though we can see in this movie that it would appear that Joel and Clementine <clears throat> have maintained parts of their identity and most of their identity even though they have seemed to... The only thing that seems to no longer be a part of both of their identities is their conscious memories of each other. Though they do not have conscious memories of each other, they seem to still have a connection. So one could argue that this part or portion of their identity is still somewhat maintained. And most of their identity in all other areas is maintained. So have they really lost their personal identity? Are they really not the same person as they were when they were together? Well, no. They're not the same person as they were when they got their memories wiped. At least right before they got their memories wiped. They were bitter, angry at each other, frustrated. And while their personalities somewhat changed, and these aspects of their personalities weren't maintained, after they got their memories wiped, they still had this feeling of sadness, this feeling of frustration, this feeling that drew them to each other. So then again, one could argue that most of their, at least the crucial part of their identity, was maintained. And this would go against John Locke's theory of psychological continuity through streams of connected memory. So maybe it isn't just streams of connected memory and psychological continuity of memory that maintains a person's personal identity. As John Locke states in the original theory of psychological continuity through conscious memory and personal identity, Person X at one time is the same person as person Y at another time if and only if they are consciously connected to X in the sense that Y can remember the thoughts and experiences of X. And he very distinctly says so that this can only be if they consciously remember. But Clementine and Joel do not consciously remember each other. And yet, how can you explain they ha their feelings for each other that remain even after their memories of each other were wiped clean? And another very interesting aspect of the movie is at the end when the last memory of Joel is being wiped clean Clementine, or at least the memory of Clementine in his mind, whispers in his ear, meet me in Montauk, where they first met. After Joel's memory was wiped clean, he didn't remember this conversation consciously, but something drew the both of them back to the place where they had met, where they met each other again, and had a lot of the same exchanges that they did the first day that they met. 
I don't really know what this means, but it calls to question that maybe John Locke's theory was onto something, but it wasn't necessarily on point, as the theory was modified to say that maybe our conscious is connected to our previous selves, but maybe not through means of conscious memory. Maybe it is something else that connects us from who we were yesterday to who we are today. Maybe it's something in our unconscious. Maybe it is our souls.